Hi guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to do a snow leopard look. These are the different nail polishes you'll need, so let's get started. First you're going to want to take your Alpine Snow from OPI or any white nail polish that you have, and you're going to want to do two coats. It took me two coats to get it this white. So as you can see here, I'm doing my first coat and I'm not the best at painting my nails so I get pretty sloppy. Um, any over, I wouldn't say spray, but over painting that I do, I usually just wipe it off with a pointed um, q-tip dipped in some acetone. I don't really like to use um, just regular nail polish remover. I just don't think it takes away the nail polish that great. So I use 100% acetone, which you can find at most drugstores. Um, so yeah. So as you can see here, I have my two coats done and it should be pretty white. Shouldn't have any transparency through to your nail. So now we're going to take the silver glitter and this one is by Sinful Colors. It's called Queen of Beauty. I know I did it upside down. Couldn't really tell through the display on the camera. So what you'll do is you'll make some random dots with the glitter. And yes, I did have to drop some onto the paper, which is okay because then I dip into it later. So you'll just want to make some randomized dots. I'm totally aware that I messed it up right there, but that's okay. I cleaned it up. Just keep making random dots. Um, doesn't have to be perfect at all. They can be different sizes, and they don't have to be perfect circles at all. And you can see I dip back into the um, nail polish that was dropped onto that pink paper. And I do kind of dab the glitter on um, because if you just dot it, it doesn't the glitter doesn't really stick all that well. So you got to dab it a couple of times, at least with this sinful color, I had to do that. So. And just keep making random dots on each one of your nails. Just keep going. This is kind of a tedious process, but it's totally worth it. And your end result should look something like this. Just random dots. Now you're going to want to take a black color. This is Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear in Blackout. You can use any black color, although this one I found works really well because it's really black. And then you'll also want to have um, some sort of Q-tip on hand. Or I'm sorry, not Q-tip, toothpick. I'll actually be using like a nail tool that came in some sort of nail kit that has a pointed end on it, but it kind of looks like a toothpick. You can also use a nail art brush that is a really, really fine brush, but I find that that doesn't make a fine enough line for this. And here you'll just want to dip it into the black and then just slowly draw lines. Um, what I kind of prefer to do is C's and broken O's. And basically, I was looking at my blanket that you can see across my lap. And I was kind of copying some of those, plus I've done leopard print a couple of times, so I'm kind of used to doing it. But you'll just trace some random lines around them. They can be closed, they can be left open, and this should be what it starts to look like. It does not have to be perfect at all, and actually the messier it is, the better, and it looks more like a leopard print. And I would definitely say this part is the most tedious part. Just trying to be slightly more precise than the dots, but still not totally perfect. And I do tend to 
dip my paintbrush in, my nail brush in, and then dab it onto the paper. It's easier than dipping the toothpick or the nail pick in and out of the bottle just because then it gets really messy. So that's why I kind of leave a puddle of it on the paper. And that's what it should look like. So your end result should look something like this. And I hope this tutorial helps. If you guys have any questions or if you want to see any other looks, just write a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys!